Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Apparently Nicki Minaj saw Cardi B's performance at the American Music Awards and she threw some passive aggressive shade. Okay, so a Nicki fan page named Nicki Overload posted a clip of Nicki Minaj's performance from the 2017 Billboard Music Awards and the clip was basically to show that Cardi B did use some of the same moves that Nicki Minaj used in this performance. They both were laying on a round stage and they both kicked their leg up in the air. So it was kind of similar, I noticed. And the poster wrote this in the caption, quoting Nicki Minaj's lyrics. I'm a trendsetter. Everything I do, they do. Yeah, I put them up on it, on it. Nicki liked this post and she also commented under it. She also commented under another post and said, queen. So basically this is Nicki's subtle way of saying, I did it first. And this is not uncommon. Stage directors and artists take concepts from other people all the time. It happens. Me personally, I enjoyed Cardi B's performance. I thought she did an excellent job. But when you compare the clips, it's obvious that she took a few moves from Nicki. And that's not shade, that's just an observation. And Nicki herself has also imitated other artists as well. Early in her career, she was heavily inspired by Lady Gaga's fashion, and also she was heavily inspired by Lil' Kim and took some of her concepts. So it happens all the time. The way that Cardi B opened up her performance line on stage is no different from how Nicki lied on the floor on stage. Back in 2014, Mariah Carey even lied on the piano. That's how she opened up her performance at the BET Honors. She's too bougie to lie on the floor. And Patti LaBelle was lying on the floor. In fact, she was rolling on the floor singing. <laughs> this clip is so funny. I bet you a female rapper is going to come along and do the same thing Patti did rolling on the floor rapping that would be hilarious but anyway my whole point is to say artists copy each other all the time there is this move that diana ross has done where her dancers carried her in the air and diana was the first one to do this and so many artists have copied this move as a matter of fact dua lipa did the same move in her recent performance at the ama so artists copy each other all the time and nikki herself has done so many different looks in her career and she's done so many different things that she can't really be surprised if her influence spills over onto other artists that come after her because she has done a lot of stuff in her career you know Nicki is a hip-hop icon even though I criticize her a lot she is a hip-hop icon I will never take that away from her I just hope that Cardi B doesn't get in her feelings and try to attack Nicki again with another shoe just because Nicki liked a shady comment because y'all know how Cardi is. She likes to physically attack people if she thinks you like something bad about her. And it's funny because when I call her out on her actions and tell her to change her behavior, she wants to get mad at me. Oh yes. There is pictures of Cardi B and her child leaked on TMZ and the Daily Mail. And I didn't make a video about it, but I did repost it on Instagram and said some positive things because I wanted to make a positive post about Cardi B. Now she came on my page and she posted and deleted this comment. She said, you stay talking ish about me, but you want to post my child? Kick rocks, B. Now here's the thing, Cardi B. I never talked crap about you. I called you out on your actions, like fighting people, throwing shoes at people, hiring people to beat up girls, allegedly, calling a dead baby a monkey. And instead of showing remorse about it, you wanna get mad at the child's mother for suing you because you lied and said her baby died because she was doing drugs. You could have easily said sorry, but you didn't. That's what I called you out on. And that's not talking crap about you. That's just checking your behavior. As long as you don't act a fool, I won't talk negative about you. I want you to continue to succeed and stay on the right track and live a happy drama-free life. I do, but stop making bad decisions. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Please tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.